Hello and welcome to the Grapeseed Official Podcast. Recently, we have been receiving some submissions from regional teams of classroom videos in the hopes of creating new classroom example videos or other training content for the training site. It is always great to see kids from around the world speaking English through the power of Grapeseed. I've already identified some clips that I would like to turn into new content, so be on the lookout for some great new videos. While watching, I also noticed some common areas of improvement that I thought would make for a good podcast. If you're listening out there and some of these points apply to you, do some self-reflection and see how you might sharpen your own approach. Let's get right into it. Number one, not using the lesson plans. You probably guessed this would be a topic right when you read the title of this podcast. This is certainly a topic we have talked about a lot on this pod over many, many episodes. An easy trap to fall into is to think that you're so skilled as a teacher that you don't need lesson plans and that you can do better. At its core, the lesson plans should be used by everyone, from the brand new, no experience, fresh out of school young adult to the most skilled long-term veteran. Let me highlight this talking about two videos of teachers not following the lesson plans that I watched that stuck out to me. The first was of a teacher who clearly had roots in English teaching that wasn't grapeseed. While she was trying to get her students to speak, due to a lack of planning, all of her questions became one-word comprehension questions, pointing to pictures on the teaching cards and asking, who is this, or what is this, over and over. Her students were able to answer easily, and you could tell they were hungry for more of a challenge, but it never came. Following the lesson plans here would have given the teacher fewer but more impactful questions that slowly increased in complexity over time, providing that needed challenge to her students. Another class I watched started off very well. This particular teacher had a class of bright students who were very comfortable speaking. While the order of components was completely changed around, this teacher started her first few components using the directions in the lesson plan as a base while sometimes tossing in an extra question or two for more of a challenge. Her pacing and the overall effectiveness of the class was high. It didn't stay that way. As the lesson progressed, she stopped following any of the directions in the lesson plans, started asking every student in her class every question, and through that, her pacing slowed. The effectiveness of her teaching at the end of the lesson looked nothing like it had in the beginning. This isn't to criticize this particular teacher. None of us can wing it over a long time with any real success. Sure, we might come up with a great idea or two in the moment, but we won't be planning for progression of learning exposure by exposure without a plan. And even if we've been teaching for several years, we won't know the learning objectives as well as the curriculum team of professionals who designed them. If I were to get back into the Grapeseed classroom in 2023, I would love having the lesson plans. They'd be my baseline, my jumping off point. I don't have to plan for my own 40 minute lesson, a task that would take me at least 30 minutes when I taught, sign me up. Instead, I could take a fraction of that time to look over the order of components, make note of the key directions and questions, and maybe even take a couple of minutes to think of an extra challenging question or two to add if I had time. Sold. Miklos has mentioned on the podcast before that the lesson plans aren't there to constrain you, they are there to set you free. I agree wholeheartedly. Let the lesson plans handle the bulk of what you are doing in the classroom. Then, Use your creativity and unique knowledge of your students to enhance the plan. But after your short enhancements, return to the plan, or else you end up making up everything as you go and losing pacing. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. I'm sad to say goodbye. It was a good day, but now I will say goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.